Today, we do a viewer request. I'm about four months behind, but I'm going to try to get some reviews done coming soon, I swear. I'm not even going to try to mispronounce your name. This is the name. He requested Ang Lee's Hulk from 2003. Everybody says Ang Lee's this great fucking director, but look at this slapdash bullshit we have going on. You can do this in Windows Movie Maker. I have wonderful news. Great, scary. I'm gonna run away. Of all things. That balloon sheet your ass is down there immediately. I want a full court evacuation now. I'm shutting you down. I mean, come on. I'm using a 10-year-old free editing software, and I can do that. Most of the beginning of the movie is a long series of flashbacks where you figure out Bruce is being given injections as a kid that leaves him emotionally stunted and makes him act like he belongs on a short bus, but his mom, who he's way too fucking close with, just keeps saying, no, that's Bruce, he's just a quiet, quiet boy. Bruce, you're hurt. Jack hit him with the sick bud. Bruce wanted to hit him back. He just stood there shaking. Despite being a brilliant scientist, he still acts like a fucking moron as an adult. I gotta say, seeing you in that style and headwear, you're implying something about my helmet? You look like a massive nerd, even around other scientists. Jennifer Connelly's always shot from above in a cinematography choice I haven't seen outside of a POV porn video. There are violent poodles just walking around a top-secret lab. And for fuck's sake, you don't need a fade effect every scene! As for the plot, it's the Incredible Hulk. You know the plot. Q, zap by radiation. Oh, but get out! They fuck around for about 20 minutes, he has weird visions in his dreams, and then turns into the Incredible Hulk because he's angry that no one's answering the phone, I guess? I... Hi, you've called Dr. Krensler. Please leave a message and I'll call you right back. Seriously, he's just in his lab doing research. When the phone rings, Jennifer Conley says, Hey, dude, you've been acting kind of weird. My dad's going to look into why you're looking so weird. And this message angers him so much that he turns into the Hulk. He somehow doesn't remember any of this. And no one knows he's the Hulk until an hour into the fucking movie. He gets in a fight, turns into the Hulk, and then... You wouldn't like me when I'm angry er? Because when he gets shot at, he becomes a bigger Hulk. It makes no sense. They dick around in the desert for another 20 minutes until he falls from space into... A river and then burst through the ground in San Francisco. Contact in the water. All units up at top. Somewhere in all this, Nick Nolte tells Jennifer Conley how pretty her eyes are. See, I told you them fucking eyes were weird. And his blood turns to CGI. No. Not with eyes like yours. It 
It's been four months since I saw this movie. I don't remember how it ends. I assume there's a big fight and more seizure-inducing angry cuts. Okay, I just rewatched the ending. Apparently, it turns into a giant water bubble. Yeah. Overall, this movie made me very, very angry. No pun intended. What? Why? Why is there a transition effect every single cut? Why is Nick Nolte magic absorbing man? What's with all the flashbacks? We flash back to Jennifer Conley's life, and she has almost nothing to do with the movie. Wikipedia claims that they're dating, but I'm pretty sure they're broken up, based on the guy that made fun of his helmet says that they're broken up. But who knows for sure? Uh... He gets bigger the angrier he is. I don't know the comic book story of everything Incredible Hulk, but it just, nothing in this makes sense. We wait an hour into the movie until any Hulk stuff really happens, and it's just him throwing the shit around. And they're like, he gets angry because his answering machine picks up, and it's a slightly unpleasant message. Jennifer Connelly is terrible in this movie. She has these giant doe eyes that they focus on nonstop. I mentioned it to my roommate while I was watching the movie, and then Nick Nolte mentions it, so they're aware. This movie, the writing credit goes to James Seamus. It's basically a scientist creates something with medical benefits and the evil, evil government wants to steal it to use it for super soldiers. And then they squeezed the Hulk into the plot. <sighs> the writer normally does Japanese films that I have not seen. So, I don't know nothing about him, really. Ah, uh, God, this one was frustrating. I mean, thank you for the recommendation and request. Now, I... As a kid, he's played by twin brothers, but at different ages? So, how does that work? You have... You have twin brothers play him, but you have one play him at two, and one play him at four, so he looks the exact same as he gets older. It makes, just, there's not one good decision made in this movie between the casting, the cinematography, the camera choices, the editing, the directing, the idea to have all these sliding things go in and out to make it I guess look like a comic book panels, but it's just distracting. It makes no sense. It makes it look like a 2005 YouTube video where they just used Windows Movie Maker and every scene just has a heart transition and a ribbon transition just so you can say you did something. Casting crew in this one, we already basically went over. It's all A-list actors. Nothing too exciting. Uh, the last guy listed on a IMDb is named Cougar Zank. That's a pretty cool name. He played an uncredited soldier, so that's a thing. That's all I got to say about this one. Thank you for watching. As always, I shall try to do better next time. And if I feel like it, here's a bonus scene from the movie. you away for the rest of your natural life. 
Seriously, why did that scene have four cuts and a transition?